I raised up um, in, a, in a Bedouin setup uh, from in my country. And uh, when I was a little child, I went to a, a school it's called Khalwa. And Khalwa is when you memorized the Quran. And uh, at, when I was six years old, I memorized the, their two parts in, in the Quran. It's called Juzu Amma or Juzu Tabarak. So I finished Juzu Amma or Juzu Tabarak. Um, my upbringing, I just prayed the uh, five prayer. And uh, I did fast Ramadan. And uh, I did all uh, like zikr, just to praise Muhammad, or to praise Allah and all the things. And uh, I remember I, one day I, I, I said to my people, I want to be an imam. And, uh, and in fact, I start to get the kids in the school uh, at noon and we break for, uh, for Salat al-Duhur and I get them and I will lead them in prayer. Allah was everything to me and uh, I wanted to please Him as much as I can. The first time I heard about Christian when we moved from the desert to the city and they kind of uh, give us an awareness they're going to be a Christian. And I thought Christians are finished. They're not existed anymore. And uh, the first things I heard about Christian, they're the going to be the wood of the fire in hell. So they're going to burn me if I'm not good. Uh, a friend of mine at the university, he started to tell me about Christ. And I keep re rejected him. And even scream at him. And one time I beat him up. And, and I told him, your Christ is not like our Christ. You call him Allah, and he is not. Allah is Allah. Later on, after I graduated from the university and I went and I, work as, I worked as an accountant, um, my friend came to visit me, the one at the university. And uh, at that time, I broke all my religious habit. I became like a city boy. And he saw the change, and he said, what happened to you? Actually, in this area, the, the, the reason I broke is not only the city, but I commit a sin against Islam, did the Sharia. And, uh, and I, I was punished for it. And I was angry of that punishment. And this is what encouraged me to, to get away from a religious lifestyle. And I was looking for forgiveness. And I told him what happened to me, and I'm looking for forgiveness. And, and he started to tell me about Jesus forgiving sin. I loved it. And I told him, can you come back again and tell me more about Jesus forgiving sin? And, and he did. And one day, actually, he invited me to the church. And I went, and I was so scared to go to the church because I heard there's a lot of things in the church I don't want to go to. Uh, Christian, they do weird things, and uh, but I did go to the church, and uh, I was sitting in the back of the church. I said, if this Christian starts to do any weird things, I'm out of there. In the church, what opened my mind? Uh, it was a prayer meeting, and different people they start to pray about people doing bad things to them because they're Christian, talking about persecution. And I start to ask myself, why they're acting this? Because at the end of every prayer request, they ask that they may love them. And I went to the one who's leading the, that meeting, and I told him, why are you behaving like this? There is nothing called love. Love is only in the movies. And he said, no, there is a real love. And he opened the 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 Bible and it was in the Sermon in the Mount when Jesus said love your enemy and pray for those who persecuted you and I never heard this teaching before and I said who said this he said Jesus I told him can I take this book please and he took the book and he marked for me where he read at night in our country um, 
power will go in the midnight because it's a poor country. I lit a gasoline light and I start to read where he marked. By the time when the prayer, uh, the, the prayer call, al adhan for the morning as subah, I was interrupted because I spent all night just reading the Bible. I never read something like this before. But I didn't took it for myself. I start to ask how Christian practice this book. This book is very hard to practice. It's easy to kill and hate, but it's difficult to love and to live holy life. And I start to go from a Christian to Christian. How do you practice this book? How do you practice book, this book? Until I met a pastor and he told me this, unless you accept Jesus in your heart, and allow the Holy Spirit to work in your life, you cannot practice what is written here and not any, Muslim, any other Christians. And he was very convincing. I said, no, I better get away from him. And then later on, I met an elderly lady who was a Muslim, became a Christian, from the same tribe I came from. And I heard something wrong about her, the way she left the tribe and uh, she corrected the story and she told me that the, she was kicked out of the tribe because she became a Christian and very slowly she lifted a blanket from her leg and all what I can see is the burning flesh sticking to her bones and I told her what it is she said this when I became a Christian they burned me alive but I was rescued and I told her are you ready to rescue your life for Jesus to be burned for him, she said yes, because he died for me first. And here was a turning point in my life. I went to my friend and I told him I'm ready to be a Christian. He didn't believe me. I said, yes, I'm ready to be a Christian. And he started to jump up and down and say, praise God and hallelujah, I didn't know what he's doing. And then later on, um, he asked me to kneel and I knelt and he said, repeat after me if you trust me, but do it from your heart. And I started to repeat after him. He asked me to ask Jesus to forgive me. And I did ask Jesus to forgive me. And then he asked me to ask Jesus to come to my heart. And I did ask Jesus to come to my heart. And then he asked me to ask Jesus to show me the way. And I did ask Jesus to show me the way. I thought that after that prayer, something dramatically had to happen. I changed from Muslim to be a Christian. This is something big. So there should be an earthquake or there should be a thunder or something like that, but nothing happened. <laughs> but there is one thing. I have a great peace in my heart and I have this peace until now. I used to be an, uh, an angry man and uh, I became a, a very peaceful man. And even sometimes when people, you know, like irritated me or say, make me angry, I said, you better, you're lucky. You didn't see me when I was Muslim. I will beat you up right away. But God has changed my, my life. Jesus just did a miracle in my life and changed my life totally. When I used to work, um, I used to hit one of the, the people who work with me because his work is always wrong. And I shouted at him and I, he swore at him many times. And when I became a Christian, I told him one day, can you come just bring a chair and sit beside me? Let me explain to you. And he looked at me, I said, what's wrong here? I said, nothing. And he started to ask me more and more, what's wrong, what's wrong? And I told him, can I tell you a secret? And he was a Muslim. He said, what secret? I told him I became a Christian and this is what happened to me. He didn't care about being a Muslim, became a Christian, but he looked more if can Christianity change a person like this totally, like from a day, like from a night to a day, you know, like it's a total change, you're explaining everything to me, you're not swearing, you're not shouting, you're not even going to get out of uh, some uh, portion out of my salary. I said no, because Christ changed me. Maybe you're looking at me here and said, he's just a murtad. 
he he just left the religion but i'm not i have found christ i have found the living god the bible when i read the bible i haven't seen a teaching like this all what i have seen in the in the quran is killing and hating but what i have found and read in the bible is love the love of god what i have found in the bible the true holiness of god that god is holy and we need to come to that holiness so that we can able to know him i didn't know that and i didn't found it in the quran how many times you curse somebody for doing something wrong to you how many times that you want to kill your enemy and you think that is your right but Christ came and changed all this and in a few words he, he asked us to love our enemy i want you to ask yourself today you you memorize the quran you pray five times a day you fast from adan you do your zakat maybe you can go to hajj but after that what is your eternity nobody knows even muhammad the prophet of islam he said when i read it even he wasn't sure that if it's going or not but in christianity whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life there is assurance there if it was the right religion he will give you the assurance but there wasn't any assurance but Christ has given us the assurance because he know that he is the right one today when you sleep at night maybe you said ayatul kursi or or any ayah but you didn't get any rest many times i said ayatul kursi and i didn't have really peace but the minute that i accepted christ in my heart i have that peace and you can experience it too i ask you today if you will open your heart and your mind this is your life this is your eternity and just give your life totally to him can you do that and you're going to see who's going to change your life